across the Gulf Coast tonight after days of record rain. Still more is on the way. Mississippi in the bullseye, this home in Canton surrounded by water. A new round of heavy rain today in Jackson County, Highway 489 in Newton County, Mississippi. Closed until further notice after part of it was washed away. Tonight, a flood watch remains in effect from Texas to the Florida Panhandle. Rob Marciano standing by to time this out for us. But first, ABC's Trevor Alt in the storm zone again for us tonight. Tonight, millions still on alert for flash flooding. Stalled system relentlessly dumping rain on the deep south. The frontal system is just not moving anywhere, so it is going to continue to inundate us with rain. This after more than 40 elderly residents and staff had to be swiftly evacuated Wednesday. The Peachtree Village Assisted Living Facility outside Jackson, Mississippi, taking on several feet of water. Workers and families now assessing the damage. A new video showing the race to save livestock from neck deep water in a nearby town. They also were rescued. The powerful floodwaters tearing up roads and highways throughout the storm zone. This is Highway 489. Look at what is left of it. Washed away in these floods. And there's crews here now. They were out until 4 a.m. fixing other highways. The washout in Mississippi is America's second extreme rain event just this week. After Monday's once-in-a-thousand-years flood in Texas, a bit of good news for drought conditions. Before that rain, more than 61% of the state was in extreme drought or worse. Now, just 43%. And even as this storm system moves on, all that water has to go somewhere, and this is the Pearl River. It is still rising. Officials say it's going to crest in major flood stage by Tuesday, and residents should consider evacuating. Torrential rain sparking flash floods across North Georgia. Roads washed out with 12 inches of rain falling in some areas in a matter of hours. This backyard transformed into a lake. The governor declaring a state of emergency. And residents of the city of Somerville told to boil water before drinking it after flooding at a nearby plant. The water has not receded. And it's going to be a, at least a day or two before we can assess the damages that have taken place. Uh, at our water plant. 11 million across the region under flood alerts through Labor Day, as far as Indiana, where sheriffs discovered one dead. Meanwhile, in California, the small town of Weed is coming to terms with its losses. Dozens of homes destroyed, with the historically black neighborhood of Lincoln Heights the center of the devastation. A 100-year-old community erased by flames in just a few hours. I ran and turned on the water faucet Looked in the neighbor's backyard, it was completely on fire. A tragedy all too familiar for Robert and Barbara Thomas, whose home burned along with their granddaughters down the block. Just eight years after their relatives lost everything in a 2014 fire. There's a lot of mental anguish, there's a lot of hurting in this community now. Across the West, 46 million are under heat alerts, with many again facing potentially record-setting triple-digit temperatures. In California, the demand on the power grid is intensifying. The effort to keep California's lights on is being directed from control centers like this. So far, the grid is held strong, but today will bring some of the hottest temperatures yet. Authorities have been warning residents for days about the potential for rolling blackouts. Those last few days are likely to be a dress rehearsal for what's going to be a much more significantly stressed set of conditions here. While in Arizona, this massive dust storm left thousands without power near Phoenix, disrupting traffic and dimming Friday night lights. A holiday weekend of extremes that few will forget. And Raf joins me now from Los Angeles, where I think it's 107 degrees, Raf, right now. What more do we know about those deaths in Northern California and the fires? Yeah, Kate, authorities have been searching the area for two days, but only just confirming those deaths. Meanwhile, utilities here still concerned about overwhelming the power grid. The top danger, too much demand, too many people at home cranking the air conditioning. Kate?